I feel the type of way Yeah, I don't know about the real side of the story Can't live if it is what it is If I lose it right now Is Brazilian food actually that good? <laughs> Oi, galera Tudo bem? Now, today So today I'm going to talk about a thing about Brazilian food. So, as you probably all know by now, I have been to a restaurant and I have officially tried Brasileiro... No, Comida Brasileira. Comida Brasileira. <laughs> Meu Deus! Ai, ai, ai. So, yeah, basica, basicamente, basicamente, basicamente... Brazilian food now. Finalmente. What is what is it with all these mentees and menchies? <laughs> so yeah, I tried Brazilian food. I tried a lot of like big common um, dishes in Brazil. Uh, like some really, really big ones. Um, I think the two biggest ones I tried is coxinha and pão de queijo. And I tried brigadeiro as well. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. And there's also these two drinks. Granun, 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 I can't say it. I literally cannot say it. I'm sorry. And I also tried something, um, cashew juice. Cashew juice. I can't remember what it is in Portuguese. But, um, apparently a lot of people don't actually like that. I loved it. Like, it's literally one of my favorite drinks ever. I'm not even joking. So, yeah. Did it actually meet my expectations? Is Brazilian food really as good as Brazilians make it out to be? As you know, I mean, if you're Brazilian, you know, food is a very, very big thing in Brazil. It is one of Brazil's treasures, Brazilian food. But today I'm going to tell you, is it really as good as Brazilians make it out to be? Well, bitch, yes, yes, it's good. It's muy do bom. It's muy do I mean, there was one thing that I tried and I did not like, and that was palmito. Palmito? I mean, I didn't really enjoy palmito. It was because it reminded me of beetroot. I don't know if you guys eat beetroot in Brazil, but it reminded me of that, and I don't like beetroot, so... Yeah, palmito was the only food I tried that I really, really did not like at all. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the zguba. But apart from that, the Brazilian food was so, so unique. I don't know how to explain that. It was really unique. Like, there was things that I just could not compare to anything in England. Like, this food was really unique and different. It was such a cool experience to try food from a different country. And honestly, when I went in there, I wasn't, I was, I, I was sort of thinking, is it actually going to be that much different to English food? And I walked out not wanting to ever eat English food again. So that probably tells you that, yes, it is very, very different to English food. In fact, Brazilian food makes English food look absolutely shit. <laughs> Pretty much. That is the iso pre iso. <laughs> yeah. Right. Brigadeiro. I want to talk about Brazilian Brigadeiro. Now, when I've always been reacting to this, secretly in the back of my head, I was worried and thinking, is it actually going to be any different to any chocolate I've ever tasted? Like, it's chocolate. How could it be different? And then I tried it. And then I had another one. And then I had another one. And then another one. Brigadeiro is unreal. I don't know what it is, but it's not like any other chocolate I've tasted before. Brigadeiro is muy bom. Muy, muy, muy bom. Eu gosto, eu muito gosto. Muito gosto? Sim? Ai, meu Deus, Brigadeiro. It's beautiful. Lindo, lindo. Or is it Linda? I don't know. Lindo, Linda. Brigadeira. Brigadeira? Brigadeiro. <laughs> Why would I say Brigadeira? But yeah, honestly, Brazilians, Brigadeiro is like, you. That is a, that should, that's like a Brazilian treasure because it is unreal. Now I just need to make it myself. I was scared if I, like, as I said, if I didn't think I'd really think it was that cool. But bro, 
Brigadiro is on another level. Like, it's 17 million levels above any chocolate you've tasted. It was so good. And I, I think apparently Jamie Oliver. Was it Jamie Oliver? I'm not too sure. But I just know a famous um, English chef said Brigadiro wasn't that good. Bro, what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I found it. Apparently, he said Brigadero is a load of shit f fucking horrible. Wh okay, Jamie Oliver is a very famous guy, but I'm sorry. I have to strongly disagree with this guy. Brigadero was insane. I don't know what this guy's on about. I say this guy is Jamie Oliver, but you're, I'm, you, you don't you get the this guy title now because you're just this guy because you don't like Brigadero. Okay. I mean, no, if you don't like Brigadero, it's fine. But if you say, like, if you say what he said, it, that, that's not okay. Like, that's that's horrible. Why would you say that, bro? Like, what the frick? <laughs> Coxinha, meu Deus. Coxinha is, oh, it's so good. Coxinha is amazing. It's, it, 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 I, I, mm, Literally, Coxinha entered my mouth and it was heaven. Ha, 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 heaven, mil deus, yeah. Pão de queijo. Oh my God, pão de queijo, no, no, mil deus, pão de queijo. Right, that pão de queijo is unreal, unreal. Okay, when I, I, I was thinking, right. And yet again, how can this be any good to anything else I've ever tasted? It's just bread with cheese. It's not just bread with cheese. It's pão de queijo. Yet again, you can't compare it. You can't compare it. There was something about it that made it feel so, so good and so Brazilian. And it was so good. My people from Minas Gerais. Yeah, bro. Pão de queijo, muito bom. No, my phone... <laughs> my phone didn't recognize me. Now, I struggle to remember the names of the other foods, but there was this, the chicken heart. I don't know what you call it in Portuguese. A lot of people say they don't like that. Even a lot of Brazilians say they don't like it. I actually really enjoyed the chicken heart. I didn't like the texture. The texture was a bit... Rah, but the taste of the chicken heart, it was good. I, I really enjoyed that, actually. The taste was really good. And Bujim, 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 Bujim. Oh, oh. Oh, Pujim was so, so good. Um, yeah, but the Brazilian puddings, Brigadeiro and Pujim, they were, both of those were absolutely insane. Like, Pujim, uh, nothing I've ever tasted before, like, comes close to that. It was so, so good. And then we've got these things. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they were really, really good as well. Yet again, nothing compared to them, bro. They had, like, the mint in it, though. And, and some Brazilians they don't like it when it has mint in. But they were so good. Um, they were really, really unique as well. Like, That's why, I mean, Brazilian foods are so unique. Everything you see here, I thought, was so, so unique. The only thing that was the most similar is... I mean... Nothing. <laughs> and these things at the top, yet again, can't remember what they're called. These were really good. Um, but we had them with salt, so I'm not too sure. Like, I'm not too sure. Yeah. They kind of just remind me of potatoes. I would say those are probably the least unique, probably. Um, but they were still really, really good. Super good. So, yeah. Brazilian food. To answer the question, is Brazilian food really that good? Yes. It is. Okay, it is. It's very freaking good. Try it, or you are missing out, bitch. Okay. Uh, if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And ciao.